You all know why we've come here. The patrons have pushed us into a corner. Their magic has grown too powerful to hold in check. These villains are stealing the worship of our own followers. We must do something before they marshal their forces, before they destroy us and all we stand for. We've come to the Vortex to destroy the world. Life will be better after the Sundering. Our followers will live on in the new worlds of air, fire, stone, and water. Our enemies will be trapped in the labyrinth to contemplate their dark ways. And we will guide the new order into the future. Help me, my friends. Let us summon the world seal and begin the process of healing. together all of Earth's elements. As we sunder it, so do we sunder the world. Thus we begin a new age. Two thousand years ago, the Sartan Council sundered the world into five realms. One of them was a nightmarish prison called the Labyrinth, and into it was banished the entire patron race, your ancestors. This is the place you've always called home, and all you've ever wanted is escape. Your name is Haplo, and you are a patron. Not long ago, Lord Zar, the most powerful patron sorcerer of his generation, broke through the labyrinth's final gate. In doing so, he paved the way for others to follow. The path was still difficult, but not impossible. Your travels led you to the final gate, where the combined forces of the labyrinth waited to turn you away. The fight was hopeless. Alone, you never would have survived. But then Lord Zar appeared, and with his help, you were able to rout the dark monsters of the labyrinth. What followed is hazy, you remember stumbling out of the final gate, but then you collapsed on the ground, and Lord Zar's concerned face faded to darkness as you lost consciousness.
Ah, Haplo. Do you feel well enough to talk, my son? I was worried. You took some serious wounds in your dash for the final gate. It was all I could do to repair your heart rune and heal you. The few weeks since you escaped the labyrinth should have been enough time to recover, but we don't want to rush it. I know you have a lot of questions. I'll do my best to answer them, but first I'd like to give you some history. You've spent your life trying to escape the labyrinth and hating the Sartan who consigned our race there. But you don't really know the full story. Even I didn't know everything when I escaped, but I learned quickly. You see this city around us? The Sartan made this. They made it for us, if you can believe it, for when we emerged from the labyrinth. We were supposed to be docile, rehabilitated, brainwashed. Instead, we hate our Sartan jailers more than ever. There are libraries here, stocked with books. Since my escape, I've been studying them. They tell me much, but not all. There are mysteries I cannot explain, but I will tell you everything I've learned. Two thousand years ago, our patron ancestors warred with the Sartan. We were winning. It was only a matter of time until we defeated the evil sorcerers, took our rightful place as leaders of the world, and freed the other races from their slavery to the Sartan. In desperation, a Sartan named Sama hatched a fiendish plan. He intended to sunder the world into five realms. Four of these realms would be homes to the Mench races, elves, humans, and dwarves. The fifth is here, the Labyrinth. It was supposed to serve as a prison for our race. They created a magic artifact called the World Seal. With it, they succeeded in sundering the world. Our ancestors were trapped in the Labyrinth, and the rest of the world was broken into the other four realms. They planned to lord over the realms and administer the labyrinth as we were rehabilitated. But something happened. They just disappeared, and with them, all of their good intentions. Without the guidance of the Sartan, the labyrinth became a slaughterhouse. Its magic made it aware, intelligent, and it wanted our blood. Life was a living hell for our people. But instead of breaking us as the Sartan wanted, the Labyrinth has made us stronger. Many of us have escaped, despite the Labyrinth's best efforts. I go back in every day to aid others in their way. I only needed to take you a few hundred feet. You even demanded that you cross the final gate on your own, without any help, before you passed out. You should be proud. Now, my son, I need you. Since my escape, I have been devising a plan to restore our people to our once glorious position. It is our birthright. To this end, you must carry out a very special mission for me. I need you to go into these realms. You'll not only be gathering information, but searching for the seal itself. With it in hand, I plan to reform the world from the broken pieces that the Sartan left us. But here I've been dominating the conversation. You must be very confused. I'm sure you have many questions for me. I'll detail my plan later. How exactly did the Sartan sunder the world? The Sartan commanded their dwarven slaves to forge an artifact called the World Seal. It consisted of five metal hexagons, each inscribed with a rune, a symbol, which represented one of the five realms. They broke the seal apart, and as they did, the world broke apart as well. It was sundered into the five realms, and each seal piece went into the realm that it named. As you see above my head, the seal piece that names the Nexus is here. Tell me about the other realms. Certainly, my son. The Sartan sundered the world into five realms. They based four of them on the elements, air, fire, stone, and water. The fifth, of course, is the labyrinth. They are all separated by large distances, too far to travel in a lifetime. That's why the Sartan created the Death Gate. Through it, people can travel from one realm to any other. Can you tell me about the Realm of Air? The books here are rather sketchy about the realms. But of all of them, the World of Air, or Arianus as the Sartan named it, is the one I'm most familiar with. 
It's made up of many separate continents which float in the air. The lower continents are populated by the dwarves. Those islands are plagued with almost continuous electrical storms. The higher continents, with much better weather, are homes to the humans and elves. Perhaps it indicates a pecking order in the match. Who knows? The books don't say much more about it, regrettably. Tell me about the realm of fire. The realm of fire, or Pryan, is a hollow world. Instead of living on the outside of the sphere, as we did on the original world, they live on the inside, along the inner curvature. At the center, four powerful suns throw their heat and light upon the ground. I believe it is the largest of the realms, but I know little else about it. What do you know about the realm of stone? Aberak, realm of stone, is not much more than a rock hanging in space. It's full of warrens, tunnels, and lava tubes. From the sketchy notes I read about it, it sounds perfectly horrible. Definitely the worst place to live of all the realms. Can you tell me anything about the realm of water? Chalestra is the realm of water. And in fact, it is a ball of water. At its heart is a sea sun which warms and lights the interior. The exterior is completely frozen, exposed as it is to the cold of space. Sea moons orbit the sea sun. They are hollow, living creatures which draw energy from the sun. Inside, the Sartan built cities to house not only the Mensch, but themselves. I believe that they intended to finally live there to administrate over all of the realms. Have you learned anything about the labyrinth? Like I explained, the labyrinth was supposed to rehabilitate our entire race. With the Sartan in control, the test that it administered would have been difficult, even violent, but never fatal. The Sartan disappeared and somehow the labyrinth became sentient. Its magic took on an intelligence. It started to kill us, slowly but surely. It toyed with us, always gave us just enough hope to keep us fighting. It created environments and monsters that even the twisted Sartan had never dreamed of. But we bested it. We escaped, and more of our kind are escaping all the time. But it is a trickle instead of a flood. Most of our race is still trapped inside. If my plan unfolds as I expect, I will free everyone at the same instant and bring an end to our imprisonment once and for all. What is this place exactly? It's not the labyrinth. It's known as the Nexus, kind of a way station. This city is where the Sartan was supposed to watch over the labyrinth. I believe they were going to give it to us as a place to live once we had been rehabilitated. It makes a perfect staging area for my plan. The Death Gate? What's that? The Death Gate is a portal. It connects the five realms. With a good ship and the right magic, anyone can cross the Death Gate from one realm to any other. Have you crossed the Death Gate? No, I haven't been able. I've made preparations, but it's always been my intention to send an emissary, or more appropriately, a scout in my stead. In fact, I was hoping that you would be my eyes in these realms. What kind of magic is needed to cross the Death Gate? It's very simple, yet infernally unattainable. The books describe the necessary preparations. You need a ship, one powered by magic with the ability of flight. You need a steering stone, magically treated to guide the ship through the portal. But upon the stone, you also need the naming rune of the target realm. The books state this, but neglect to actually show the runes, as if they were common knowledge. None of the books depict these runes. For years, I've been researching the subject, reading every document, poring over every scrap of parchment. And I believe I finally divined one of the runes. That of Arianus, World of Air. It's the only one I've been able to reconstruct, and it's taken years. I don't even know if it's possible to produce the others, given the pitiful research materials I have. It's my thought that the other runes might lie somewhere inside the realm of air. For some time, I've been planning to send someone there to look for them. Do you have a ship? Yes. The Sartan were kind enough to leave one for us. It didn't have the steering stone that such a ship requires, but I was able to reproduce one. 
Without the naming ruins of the realms, of course. Let's go back a step. Certainly. Can we talk about something else? Of course. What do you want to know? Where did the Sartan disappear to? I don't know. I don't think their disappearance was planned. All of their documents indicate that they expected to be around for a long time to enjoy the fruits of their labor. It seems that one day they just vanished. I have a few theories. It's possible that they did plan to vanish. They might be hiding somewhere in the realms, using the disappearance as a smokescreen to make us careless. When the time is right, they will return with our deaths in their hands. In any case, I take nothing for granted. I must know where the Sartan went to. I must have vengeance. Our people cry for it. Somewhere in the realms, there must be signs, clues. Eventually, we shall discover them, and the trail will lead us to the Sartan. Then we shall destroy them. What were the Sartan like? I've pieced together a picture from the books I've found. The Sartan were the opposite of us, even physically. As we have black hair with white ends, the Sartan have white hair with black tips. The runes that we place upon our bodies for protection and to enhance our magic, they shun. I believe that while the Labyrinth has forged us into a harder, stronger race, the Sartan have grown softer in their luxurious realms. They will be no match for us. They will look into our eyes and find the mercy they gave us. The hatred we've kept burning for thousands of years. And their own deaths. You repaired my heart rune? Yes. As the labyrinth continued to attack you, the magic rune tattooed over your heart became weaker and weaker. When I discovered you, it was actually broken. As you know, heart runes must be complete to function. They sustain us, protect us. They are like circles. The magic of your being continually flows through it. If it becomes weak, you cannot cast spells. If it ever becomes broken, you fall ill. Luckily, I found you in time. I was able to draw upon my own life force to lend to you. It repaired your heart rune and made you strong enough to overcome the final hurdle of the labyrinth. Tell me about magic. Certainly. Patrons have magic in their blood. Once we were the greatest sorcerers in the world. If we had learned to work together as the Sartan did, they never would have stood a chance against us. Since then, we have lost much of our skill. We have forgotten many spells because they were useless in the labyrinth and retained only a very few. We never lost our potential, though. To this day, we can cast any spell as long as we know how it is constructed. But we are pitifully ignorant. One of the things we must do before we confront the Sartan again is to relearn the magic that we have forgotten. How does magic really work? Magic is based upon possibilities. The possibility always exists that reality is a certain way. Imagine that a stone wall blocks your path. There is a possibility that a door exists in that wall. A wizard bends this possibility into reality until the door appears. All spells work this way. How do you cast a spell? Spells are made up of runes. You build a spell by putting these runes together to form a rune construct. When you have built the construct in your mind, you trace the design in the air. The magic catches fire and leaves a glowing trace behind your finger. Upon completion, the spell casts, and reality is changed. How do you learn new spells? The easiest way to learn a new spell is simply to watch someone casting it. All you have to do is mimic the motions, trace the same rune construct in the air, and you are casting that spell. Another method is to see it on paper. Sometimes people prepare books of spells. Other times they include spells to highlight their text. Spells could be found on any document. I've scoured these halls looking for any such books and come up empty. Perhaps the Sartan were careful about the text they left behind, just in case we escaped too soon. Finally, one may discover a spell permanently placed upon an object. When a wizard wishes a spell to be permanent, he can magically prepare an object to receive the spell, then cast that spell upon it. 
then the spell is always visible. It engraves itself upon the surface of the object. By studying it, one can learn the spell. Can you tell me anything about the spells I already know? I'm afraid that, like most patrons, your repertoire is rather limited. You know only the most basic of spells, heat and cold, normally used to keep yourself alive in the harsh climates that the labyrinth can produce. They are powerful, but not very versatile. Do you know any spells that you can teach me? Yes, I do. There are two spells that I intend to teach you. Identify and Rune Transfer. Both will be very useful in your mission. Identify can supply information about any magic object or spell. If you encounter an unknown object or learn a new spell, but are unsure about its magical properties, simply cast Identify. It will explain everything to you. The second spell, Rune Transfer, is very specific. With it, you can transfer a rune symbol from any object to a magically prepared surface. This will be necessary to place the naming runes of the Four Realms upon the Steering Stone. After I teach you the spell, I will give you a marker with the naming rune of Arianus upon it. You must take it aboard the ship to the Steering Stone. There, cast Rune Transfer upon the marker and transfer the rune to the stone. Following that, the ship will be able to take you there, to the realm of air. Regretfully, I do not know the other runes that name the remaining realms. Hopefully in your travels you will discover these other runes. If you do, transfer them onto the steering stone in the same way. The Death Gate will never let you into the other realms if you do not. Can we talk about something else? Of course. What do you want to know? How do you get back into the labyrinth to help our people escape? <laughs> the labyrinth doesn't mind letting people in. It's letting them out that it doesn't like. I think the labyrinth has something personal against me. It tries to lure me in as far as possible before it throws everything it has at me. Don't believe that I'm not afraid. Every time I enter, I wonder if I'll ever return. I've been able to get the best of that demon place many times, but every trip it gets more devious, more dangerous. What is your plan? The Sartan's plan was unnatural. They killed millions of mensch and consigned our race to a living hell. I intend to undo the damage. I want to reform the world. Much like the Sundering, the Reformation will require all five of the seal pieces. I have the Nexus seal piece, but I need the other four. The Sartan have hidden them somewhere in their realms. You must be my agent. I need you to go into the realms and find those seal pieces and bring them back here. When I have them all, I will reform the world, free our people, and bring the Sartan to justice. Now I know the naming rune for only one of the realms. I will give you a marker with the rune upon it. Use the rune transfer spell to place it upon the steering stone on board your ship. The stone will then be able to transport you to Arianus, the realm of air. Since I don't know the runes that name the other three realms, I can only hope that you will find them somewhere on Arianus. I also wish to know what happened to the Sartan. Their disappearance mystifies me. Finally, I want you to learn any new spells that you come across. It's only through the infusion of new spells that we will be able to build up our arsenal of magic. So, do you understand your mission? Take your ship to Arianus, search for its seal piece and the other realm's naming runes, and gather any information you can about the missing Sartan and new magic spells. When you have finished, come back here, deliver the seal piece to me, and give me your report. Now I shall teach you the two spells you will need. Watch me closely. This is the Rune Transfer spell. Study it. Remember it. This next construct defines the Identify spell. Watch me again.
That's all, my son. I am entrusting the fate of our race to you. Do not fail me. You do not need this book for your quest, Haplo. I am researching the Reformation, and as this book is very damaged, it's quite difficult. I certainly don't want it damaged any further. Yes, I forgot that you'll need some light for the ship's interior. I'll still have one glow lamp left. Feel free to take that one. 